ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world. It's showtime! Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talking nothing but this boxing, man. Hey, listen, man, before I get into this video, man, I want to thank you all for tuning in to this channel. Um, and if you're new here, I want you to be here. So think about tap dancing on that subscribe button because we stay knee deep into this boxing talk. Now, first things first, if you know anything about big faces, I don't follow nobody's narrative. I don't roll with no curve. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't go along just to get along. You know, it seemed like everybody out there got something bad to say about Keith Thurman because he's he's starting to to, to to get back into his rhythm. He's starting to get back to the old Keith Thurman. Isn't this what y'all wanted? Isn't what this what everybody said was missing from Keith Thurman? You know, everybody said Keith Thurman wasn't talking right. He wasn't saying the right things. Me, I was one of them. But I've always been a Keith Thurman fan and I always got to speak my mind and keep it a buck. I don't look over here or look over there to see what somebody's saying to go along to get along, man. I got my own brain and I'm going to say to you what I got to say to you. And if you got half a brain, you know, if you're keeping it real with yourself, you know for a fact that that boy Keith Thurman can fight. You know this. You know Keith Thurman can rumble, man. You know what I'm saying? He, uh... You know, he had uh, uh, some injuries. He had a, 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 a two-year, almost two-year layoff, man, where he didn't fight. Um, and people, you know, thought he lost his hunger. You know, we, 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 we speculated about what was going on in his personal life. Will he retire? Will he ever come back? You know, we see him doing silly things like playing the flute up in the mountains. And, you know, he got married and, and uh, you know, all types of shit that had nothing to do with boxing. So everybody just assumed that Keith's hunger was gone. You know what I'm saying? And now that he's on the eve of the biggest fight of his life, the biggest fight of his career, fighting the legend in Manny Pacquiao. I don't care when he will fight Manny Pacquiao. This is the biggest fight of Keith Thurman's career. I don't care who he fight after this. This fight right here against Manny Pacquiao means the most. And Keith Thurman knows that. He's training like he knows it. And he's talking shit like he knows it and uh you know he's getting questions everywhere he go everybody asks him about earl spence he can't escape the question you know they've been asking him about earl spence ever since he stepped back on the scene earl spence what about earl spence what about earl spence keith thurman in my opinion has been a little bit reluctant to answer that question you know shout out to the boston Vo boxing voice and ness you know what i'm saying um you know he did an interview with keith thurman yesterday and he finally got some. He was. He finally got some uh, answers as to uh, about Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, man. You know, he he told him your energy's not the same when when uh, uh, Earl Spence is brought up. Here's exactly what Keith Thurman had to say about that. And Earl knows. I ain't no bullshitter. Errol knows. First time I saw him face to face was backstage at the MGM Grand. But now you pro, I know you're gonna be at the top, and I look forward to sharing the ring with you one day. My career hasn't gone the way I wanted it to go. If it went my way, the fight would have already been over. But with my injuries in 2019, I'm not fighting Errol, Sean, Danny, none of those. And really, he ain't mad because of, I'm ducking him. He mad because I get the better fights. He mad because they still like me more. He mad because I got better numbers. He mad because he can't beat Keith Thurman. That's why he mad. Now the whole internet, the whole YouTube, the whole social media is up in arms about what Keith Thurman had to say. You know, uh, isn't this what you wanted? Isn't this what a boxing fan want to hear from a from a from a fighter? You know, uh, you know, you said Keith was dancing around a question for so long. Now that he got something to say, you know, what I'm saying uh, people getting on him. You know, I don't understand this disdain for Keith Thurman. You know, before this injury, man, Keith Thurman was a guy who fought everybody. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, you know, you, you say Deontay Wilder last year, he fought uh, 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 Luis Ortiz and Tyson Fury back to back. He got so much praise for that, fighting two killers back to back. Everybody said, who does that? Who fights two killers back to back? Before Keith Thurman got hurt, Keith Thurman fought Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, back to back. That was straight killer mode, man. Straight killer mode. You know, uh, as in any sport, whether you're in the NFL, whether you're in the NBA, you 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 get it. You you break your Achilles. You 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 tear up your Achilles. You know what I'm saying? You're a, you're an NBA star. Let's let's just throw a name out there. Kevin Durant. You're an NBA star. Kevin Durant. You know, uh, he tears his Achilles. He's out of the he's out of the game for an extended period of time. You don't think. Kevin Durant is going to have some doubts as to how he will perform when he get back on the court. You don't think he's going to, you know, wonder how 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 that uh, you know, Achilles is going to hold up once he go full force and running down the court and try to, you know, uh, uh dunk on somebody, to go for a layup. You don't think he has some doubt as if he will be the same as he was before that Achilles injury? He's human. Same with Keith Thurman, man. Keith Thurman's human, man. And after, you know, um, having the elbow so surgery, having the uh, the hand injury, and being just being out the ring for, for, for almost two years, yes, he has some doubts, man. You know, he didn't know how to answer certain questions, man. He was, you know, he was getting bombarded with all these questions about Spence, about Crawford, about this guy, about that guy. And, you know, he was doubting himself a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And everybody jumped on him, man. He's, you know, everybody jumped on him like, you know, uh, he's supposed to be Superman, supposed to be superhuman and not allowed to doubt himself, man. You know, uh, any any man in his position would doubt himself a little bit, you know? He got into the, to the fight with Lopez, man. Um, you know, everybody said he didn't look good. I thought he looked, I thought he looked damn good to be out of the ring for, for so long, man. You know, um, he came in there. He was he was using uh, a very good punch selection against Lopez. He was using the ring, lateral movement, uh, in and out, boxing on the back foot, boxing on the front foot, drop Lopez in the second round. But in the seventh round, he got caught. You know, he got hurt. You know, but like a true champion, he bit down and and uh, overcame that adversity and finished the fight. He finished the fight like a true champion would, man. And everybody's jumping on him about that performance, man. You know, yeah, he got hurt. This is the boxing game, man. You're going to get hit. You know, sometimes you're going to get hurt. But did he go down? No. Did he fold? No. Josecito Lopez hit, hit Keith Thurman with some thunderous, thunderous shots, man, that would have knocked a lesser man out. Y'all seen all the memes. Y'all seen how Keith Thurman's brain was rattled with some of those punches. You know, you seen the referee Kevin uh, uh, Willis' face. He's seen the punches too. A lesser man would have went down, man. Keith Thurman was able to gather himself, man, and finish that fight, you know. Um, and he even won some of those later rounds, man, and was able to get the majority decision to retain his super WBA title. You know what I'm saying? Um, Keith Thurman has been saying this from, from the beginning, man, that, you know, he wanted to make the fight with Earl Spence as big as possible. He stated also in that interview, go check out the interview on uh, the Boxing Voice, man. Um, you know, I couldn't, you know, I ain't trying to bite the man's whole, whole thing, man. But, you know, he talked about making the fight bigger and how, you know, why fight today for, for, uh, for a dollar when you can fight tomorrow for five dollars you know what i'm saying so he's trying to make this fight with earl spence he knows it's the biggest fight um that's out there right now as far as financially you know what i'm saying he knows that there's a lot of people interested in this fight and he knows that there's a lot of money to be made in this fight so keith thurman wants to build this fight up you know and he's laying the groundwork for it now by talking this shit that he's talking but there's a lot of people mad at him, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think the comment that he made uh, was taken out of context a little bit about uh, when they asked him about the, the um, you know, Earl doing uh, 
good pay-per-view numbers against Mikey Garcia and, uh, you know, Keith Thurman, you know, basically said it was Mikey Garcia and the Mexicans who who, uh, who bought that fight. You know what I'm saying? And people t take it out of context or, you know, they, they looked at it how they want to look at it. And, and they thought, you know, and they thought it was uh, Keith Thurman, you know, saying that black people don't don't buy pay-per-views or black people don't support their own. I didn't take it like that. I took it as Keith Thurman saying Mikey Garcia was the more popular fighter. That's all. He was the more popular fighter. He had more fans down there than Keith Thurman. That's I don't I don't necessarily agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is what Keith Thurman was saying. You know, I think Keith Thurman, Earl Spence is a very, very good fight. I think it's a super fight, man. You know, I think it's a super fight. Um, you know, it might even be more exciting than the Terrence Crawford fight. You know, and you know, I know a lot of people going, you know, get up, get on me for that, man. But let me explain myself, man. Keith Thurman in the build up to a fight with Earl Spence. Keith Thurman's going to do the same thing he's doing now, and that's talk shit. You know, he's going to create that buzz, man. He's going to make people want to tune in, man. Keith Thurman, you know what I mean? He's a guy who, he's a, he's a very colorful guy. You know what I'm saying? This dude, man, um, he got that gift, man. He got that gift of gab, man, where he talks that shit and, you know, and, and he creates controversy. You know, and that's what he's doing right now. He's, he's got all of us right now making videos and, and, and um, typing, tweeting out tweets and, 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 and everything else about... You know some of the comments that he was making yesterday man because keith knows how to create controversy i think a fight with earl spence is um a lot closer than people think you know people think you know they see they look at both of these guys last five opponents you know what i'm saying uh let's look at earl spence earl spence who he fought um leonard bundu kel brook um lamont peterson uh Ocampo and Mikey Garcia, you know. Um, look at Keith Thurman's last five five fights. You know he had. Um, this is in no particular order, but if my rec recollection um, is correct, he fought. You know um, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, uh, Luis Colazzo, uh, Robert Guerrero, and uh, maybe who was it? Linda Bundu also in, in, in that in that mix, man. You know, you look at those guys, man, these, those was not no bums, you know, those were not no bums, man, all those fights were tough fights, man, you know, Luis Colazzo at the time was, you know, he was dangerous, you know, he was dangerous, everybody talked about that body shot that Luis Colazzo landed on uh, Keith Thurman, you know, again, Keith Thurman was hurt. You know, but he, he, he was like a true champion, man. He he overcame adversity, bit down, man, and and uh, finished the fight. Ended up stopping Colazzo. You know what I'm saying? When a lesser man would have, um, you know, when a lesser man would have uh, quit, would have folded up, man. So you got to give credit where credit's due, man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a Keith Thurman fan. I'm going to keep it real, man. I'm going to keep Thurman fan. I'm an Earl Spence fan, but, you know, when I see that, you know, everybody going at Keith the way that they're going at him, you know, even though I'm a fan of both of them, I got to come out, man. I got to come out and try to put some balance to this bullshit, man, because there are so, so, you know, the, the, the scales just tipped in, in Earl Spence's favor, man, and I think unjustly, man. I think Keith Thurman is getting a bad rap unjustly, man, so... You know, being a fan of both of them, I got to come out and, and make a video in defense of Keith Thurman, man. Um, Keith Thurman is a great fighter, man. And Keith Thurman got that swagger back, you know. Uh, you, This is what we wanted. We wanted to see Keith Thurman talk the shit that he's talking, you know, for a while. You know, we all was talking about how Keith Thurman was not talking the way that we, that we, the way that we wanted him to talk, you know. Um, Keith Thurman wasn't sure about this. He wasn't sure about that. But now that he's giving you direct answers, direct quotes, now all of a sudden it's wrong. Nah, man, this is what we want. We want Keith Thurman to talk as much as shit as possible. He's laying the groundwork for a future fight. You know what I'm saying? He's laying the groundwork for a future fight. So this is just the beginning of the promotion 
for Keith Thurman versus Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? This is just the beginning of that, man. Let this man do what he do. You know, get a man some, uh, you know, cut the man some slack, man. He's doing what any human would do. He's asked all these questions about Keith Thurman. Everybody, I mean, about Earl Spence, man. Everybody jumping on his throat about it. So now he's come out and he's being very direct with it. And he finally exploded. You know, he exploded on all y'all. You know, and tell you how he really feel. You know what I'm saying? He don't think, he think that, that Earl's mad at him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's getting the better fights. He think that uh, Earl knows he can't beat him. Y'all heard what he said, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard what he said. You know, and, and I ain't trying to offend nobody. I ain't trying to talk down to nobody. But I'm just speaking my opinion, man. Because the scales just tipped way, 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 way out of proportion in my opinion, man. You know, um, this is the biggest fight of Keith Thurman's life, man. He got to keep getting bombarded with questions about Earl Spence. But after this fight, after Keith Thurman knocks Manny, Pan Manny Pacquiao out in devastating fashion, if he's able to do that, I think, um, you know, that will definitely put the stamp on his confidence. I think he will have, you know, uh, you know, all the swagger back, man. And, and we definitely will get Keith Thurman versus Earl Spence next year. We definitely going to get it. We gonna get it. You understand what I'm saying? But in the meantime and in between time, I I like to thank you all sincerely for uh, tuning in, man. Stay blessed, stay humble, man, and uh, keep supporting this sport that we love called boxing. Peace. I holler back.